Considering it's not offering me any help. 15 and a half? We'll do it. And now, Leno. Unbelievable deal, but it's going to happen. It's going to have to happen. I mean, how could I turn this down? $25 million. Burnt Leno on his way out. Sporting, they've taken the Barcelona offer, so he's not coming. Our Everton match has been rescheduled. Nine goal in transfer offer for Leno again. PSG, give me 27 and a half, PS, or 27. They came in with 17 and a half. That's even more than Dortmund came in with originally. I think Dortmund came in with 15. Has he been? Oh, six responses before the Chelsea game, of course. Well, another offer for Leno. No one's gone to Norwich. Uh, we'll wait and see on that one. PSG, 21. Let's counter 25. Same thing that Dortmund paid. Because if he doesn't get a Dortmund, at least he'll get a PSG. The nice thing is he's still here so far. And the De Gea offer has been accepted. By United Palace, they're not going to sell Price. I asked 12 million, they weren't even in the ballpark. I'm not going to go for the free just because of how old he is. And Liverpool accepted the deal for Cox with Jordan Ives. That's phenomenal. We'll put him in. We'll, see if we, we'll go rotation player. 10 grand, that's fine, Jordan. Come into the club, buddy. And United have accepted the deal for De Gea. Oh my God, we could be getting De Gea. And I haven't even made the move for the striker yet. That's going to happen after the Chelsea game. And we'll make him crucial. Five-year deal. No clean sheet bonus yet. 130, five-year crucial. And that's our lineup. Pretty raggedy on the bench. Barber having to come in to play, do a job in holding midfield, but this would be a famous win at Stamford Bridge if we can come out with it. Chelsea, West Ham at Stamford Bridge under the lights. Chelsea, if they won their last game that they had in hand, they're back to top of the table. We're in third right now. They actually drew that game, so they're second behind Man City. We are in third. If we win here, we could be top of the table. That would be absurd. Check in goal. Courtois on the bench. Interesting. Ivanovic, Kalas, Cahill, Felipe Luiz, Matic, Ramirez, William Hazard, Mark Emery, Jackson Martinez, Higuain on the bench, along with Fabregas and Remy Sherla. Their bench could be better than their starting line. It's absurd. And for us, Leno, of course, potentially playing his last game. Or strong back four still, in my opinion. But Barbara, Keontae, Delph going to be the real difference makers in midfield. And Leno could move, well, his move to Dortmund. I think they are in the Champions League. Oh, Jesus. And that's what I get for talking and trying to play. Oh, is that Jackson Martinez? That is a terrible, terrible goal. Absolutely horrible. It's not on any player that's really that's a strict on me goal. Giante, not your best touch. Jenkinson, you got Dybala through. Oh, he's so good. Win a penalty. Oh, played it. Oh, my goodness. What a chance. Dybala. Oh. Wow, what a ball in. Jackson Martinez. Winston Reed is having a shocker. He's falling over like an absolute clown, though. How easy did he go down? That is sickening. How quickly Jackson Martinez went down. He barely touches him. He's going to win the ball. And he just... Look at him. He's barely... Oh, he's holding his shirt. Get out of here with that nonsense. Well, let's see what Leno has left in him. Hazard usually does like to go down the middle. Nope, not that time. Because, but I think I'll actually put Wickham on the left wing and leave Dybala in the center. Oh my God, Leno, huge save. 
What a strike. Was that Hazard? Piate. Played inside. Hit it. Wickham. Get in there. Yes. Come on. Connor Wickham making a name for himself. Bringing us back. What a goal. From the Sunderland, former Sunderland man, I should say. The England striker. He's been getting some call-ups to the England team. What a goal that was. Just stayed with it. And just really, that's just sheer will to put that in the back of the net. Beautiful little play here. Look at him. He turns the defender and he just says, you know what, check. You might get a piece of this. But this is going in the net. I do not care. And he gets leveled. Look at him. Put on his back. But he finishes it. Connor, way to be, son. Huge goal. And we're back in it. Chiate, you beast. Wickham, bring that down. On the on the charge. The ball playing through. Connor! Connor. He's he's probably he has to be. Thank you. It was the last man, too. He should send him off. I mean. I tried to make a move around check, and what happened was I couldn't actually do the skill move to go around him because I got pulled down by Kalas, and they're not going to show it. So, Connor, can you give us number two, fella? Top left. That's a goal! Celebrate in front of those West Ham fans, son. Come on! 2-2. Two, two. Ah, we're at the other... How are we at the other end? We were in front of West Ham fans with the last goal. Oh, they're in the upper deck. That's right. What a goal from Connor Wickham. Oh, Jackson Martinez off the post. What a shot. Let him just be safe because you are on a yellow. Fabian. Played in. Corner! Three! Yes! Patrick, Connor Wickham, that's a game ball. That's your son. Take that home with you. Treasure it. What a ball through from Fabian Delft to Connor Wickham. It's like they have some unspoken bond between them. That is an unbelievable finish from the striker who is in the best form of his life. He's never scored goals in the Premier League like he is right now. What a finish from Connor. That is a miraculous goal. An unbelievable turnover from Chelsea. And we made them pay. Wickham now eight in the Premier League. Duff, oh my god, what a ball to Wickham. <gasps> what a save by Peter Cech. Leno, that's yours. Oh my god, that's not gone in. <gasps> Leno again, he doesn't claim it. We're probably going to score from here, Hazard. Oh no, he isn't going to whip it in. Jackson, <gasps> hit the crossbar again. That's us. That's us. Goal kick. My God. Oh, he's, I've talked too soon. Kiate, Kiate, clear it. Oh, my God, he missed. Get on Nkulu's head. Nkulu. Oh, what a save by Peter Cech. So Wickham, the hat-trick hero, coming off. Dybala coming off as well. <gasps> it's hit the post. Felipe Luis hit the post. Check us up even. They are swarming the goal. Leno's got it. Carroll flicking on. Stay with it, Andy. Run to it. Check isn't in the goal. And he's missed. He missed an empty net. He took it on his weaker foot, of course. But Andy, you got to just pass it into the net there, son. Yes! Connor Wickham carried us to victory, boys. Massive win. Unbelievable turn of events. 2-0 down to Chelsea so early on, and you thought it had to be all over. But... Connor Wickham makes the most of his opportunity, scores three goals and wins it for us. Nine shots for us, eight for Chelsea, and look at the quality of our shots, how close in they were. Uh, actually, a couple of ours were really long, I'd have to say. 
Shots on target, both teams pretty even there. Possession very even, so it was a fantastic game. Uh, referee called it evenly. You know, that's just one of the great games of FIFA you're ever going to play. A lot of fun. And everyone owes Connor Wickham a drink at the bar because, my goodness, he wins all the Moose's Mighty Hammer votes there. He's, he's unbelievable. What a performance from Connor. He definitely is getting the three points, no doubt about it from me. Uh, the two points is going to be tough to give out. Probably, I think, Keontae with that 8.6 was massive in the goal. Leno, he got an 8.2. I don't know how. He made a couple of big saves, but he was poor the rest of the way. So I'd say Keontae, two points. And I thought Nkulu actually played a really, really solid game at the back. So he's going to get one Moose Mighty Hammer point vote for me. Aaron did have, that's true, Aaron did have a huge game taken on and cool or on uh, Eden Hazard. You're right. We're going to have to give him the point over and cool. Especially the FA Premier League. We are top of the table with that victory. Obviously, City do have a game in hand, so we have to take this with a grain of salt. But we are top of the league table right now. Player sold. Leno's gone for $25 million to Dortmund. They've only given us 18 and a half. I'm pretty sure I have it on moderate strictness, which would give me 75% back. Oh, well, that's quite annoying. But if De Gea accepts our contract offer, then we'll still, you know, basically even out on this deal. Benfica said, you know, they're not willing to pay that much for Leno, but he's already gone. He's in Dortmund now with his new club. So thank you for your service, Bernd for half a season and we'll see you later. Dubal, of course, will be only out for six days, which means he will be out for the Newcastle match. Delph out for seven days with a femur contusion, also out for the Newcastle match, but Tompkins will be back and Pastore will be back. Ibe is accepted, De Gea is accepted. David De Gea will be coming to Upton Park and we have to accept it now because Leno's gone. Bang, 18 million still left on the budget with him coming in. That is huge for us because that gives us a ton. We could honestly probably bring in Sturge without having to sell Andy Carroll. That's how much money that is. Wow. That's how much money we've made from that sale. That is phenomenal. So we're going to accept that deal. David De Gea, welcome to West Ham. You're not going to sit on the bench here like you did at Manchester United. He hardly played at all at Manchester United. We'll take a look at the, uh, you know, the stats right after just to see. But my goodness, and Jordan Ibe, of course, coming in for Scott Cox. It only cost us basically $5,000 in terms of wage budget. That's it. Free transfer, essentially, as we sent Cox out the other way, who had never played for us. So this is a massive, massive deal. Like we always do with this time, 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 time.